Greetings. Diablo 4 Beta is out. It's been out for a couple of days. And uh, I've completed the beta, got to level 25. And today I want to bring you my take on how to build a character. Um, I managed to kill the world boss, Ashaba, the very first one, and then a couple right after. So I think Diablo 4 is a well put together game. It does require some polish. However, um, making a efficient and powerful build is one of the keys to enjoying it and besting the dungeons and just having a blast with this piece of work from Blizzard Entertainment. So what does it mean to make a good build? An efficient build, roughly speaking. In layman's terms, making an efficient build means you don't waste your skill points and your skills synergize with your skills and your items. That's the short version. Synergy is an act of cooperation and mutual support, in this case, between items and between skills. I'm gonna give you two examples of a build that um, I'm going to use when the game comes out. Well, actually two build examples, right? In this case, I'm going to go over the path that I took with my wizard, um, a fire wizard to be exact. So this character has items that have the legendary suffixes or prefixes that help out. Right? If for a wizard particularly, barrier is the way to go. Um, as far as the synergy is concerned, if you look at this pair of boots, right, uh, this pair of boots has plus one to flame shield. Um, that's why I included the um, items in my definition of synergy, because now this skill called Flame Shield um, has plus one added to it. And um, even though some items add plus one to skills, as if you look at this, right, this node, it does not have the blood flowing to it, but the teleport skill is active. And because the teleport skill is active, um, through an item. You don't have to invest uh, a skill point into it, however, you'll still be able to use it, which is why rare and legendary items with proper prefixes or suffixes is a huge um, fundamental boon in this game, and that's why the itemization system is so good in Diablo 4. Well, I should say it's, it's not so good, but it is solid. In any event, for the build that I used in this game, I went the path of a fire wizard and I utilized fireball as my main skill. The way that the um, trees progressed is that you invest a skill point in one of your basic skills, then you move on onto the core skills, and then later on, depending on the class that uh, you are, the later clusters of nodes, they're called differently and shaped differently based on which class you are. So I started with a Firebolt, and then the only way to go for a file Firebolt is in um, going to the Enhanced Firebolt node, after which uh, the primary enhancement, you have two secondary enhancements, and you can only pick one. You may not select two. Um, so at first, when you start your character, refunding the skills is going to be cheap. So if I click Refund All, right, it's going to 
tell me that it costs some gold, it's not that expensive. But at the very start, it is basically free, so you can experiment with what you want to do. Now, in this case, after investing two points, I went straight into the fireball, and I chose greater fireball node, which says greater fi uh, fireball deals 10% burning damage. 10% of the burning damage you've applied to the enemies as additional direct damage. What this means is um, the damage that Fire Bolt applies um, stacks with the Fire Bolt. The rule of thumb in role-playing games is multipliers are pretty good. If you see something that multiplies your damage or your defense, go for it. So as the fireball started to get maxed. Then I moved on to the defensive skill node and applied flame shield. Flame shield with shimmering shield is a excellent defensive skill. It's incredibly strong um, because it basically allows you to get out of tough situations. After that, I went into the Hydra, maxing out the... Um, Hydra is important because um, Fireball, right? Fireball is your area of effect skill and Hydra is your single target skill. Um, given this item, which is called Serpentine Loop, it basically doubles the damage of Hydra. It says you may have one additional Hydra head at a time so I can cast twice as much. It's basically double it, right? It's really, really good. And when Hydra strikes enemies, because of this node right here, Summoned Hydra. Um, summoned Hydra applies burning damage. And as I mentioned earlier, the damage of Fireball is enhanced by the Hydra. So when there are... Um, when the enhanced Hydra or casts its fireballs, it ignites things on the screen, and then fireball becomes even more powerful, right? Its, its damage becomes huge. Now, here's where an, interesting, um, where an interesting aspect of the game comes in. As you play, you get two enhancement slots, and in the beta, there are only two. I chose the enhancement slot for a fireball, and the enhancements is this. When you kill an enemy, they explode in a fireball for 50% of its damage. So the only requirement is to kill an enemy. So if there is a huge cluster of them uh, that are close to each other and you shoot one fireball, there is a chain reaction and they all basically die. Um, so. The idea is Hydra ignites enemies on fire. Uh, then as they get closer to each other, you shoot them with a fireball. And then there is a chain reaction. Boom, 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 boom. And they all die. Uh, it's very powerful. Now, as you progress into further uh, skills, in this case, um, Mastery, you can just select multipliers for for damage in this case i put in one one point in here because the beta is you know limited in how many skills skill points you have and then this skill which is the ultimate skill inferno inferno is how should i put it um inferno is a skill that brings the final synergy piece to the build because what it does is that that snake that gets cast, it pulls the enemies together. And then as they're pulled together, hiders shoot them. And then when you hit hit them with a fireball, there is a, it, it's a damage multiplier, essentially. And this node, Supreme Inferno, says, while Inferno is active, your pyromancy skills cost no mana, which means you just can keep shooting fireballs. I hope you see um, the link between the synergy of skills and items with what I'm explaining. And as you progress down the tree, 
when the game comes out, I think out of the two passive nodes, which as it clearly states, you may only have one of them at a time. Um, in this case, for this build, Esu's Ferocity would be the node to pick in this cluster. And then after that, you select whichever nodes are multiplicative. So in this case, I've maxed out Glass Cannon. You can probably put in some into Elemental Attunement. Uh, critical Strikes have 5% chance to reset the cooldown of one of your defensive skills. So they can reset Teleport cooldown or a Flame Shield cooldown. So Mobility and Defense. Actually, for the sake of uh, this particular playthrough, maybe I should have had only two points in Glass Cannon and one point in Elemental Attunement. Uh, that might have been better. And that's pretty much um, the wrap-up for the Fire Wizard build uh, in terms of skills. Now, in terms of items, um, I'll just briefly show you some that are available. Uh, this staff has an imprinted passive, which is called Deal um, More Damage when you stand still. So you see right here is 30% uh, buff to the damage, and as I move it disappears. Now if I stand still for a couple of seconds, actually about one second, um, there, the damage buff comes back again. Um, so yeah, when you play, um, I recommend that you figure out the path through the tree before you before you select your skill points. Now, as far as this particular guide, I hope this fire wizard, um, fire wizard path and a bit of a tutorial for fundamentals of Diablo 4 is going to be useful to you when the game comes out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.